Buonasera. Welcome to another episode of Regional Italian Cuisine. My name, of course, is Caterina Borsato. And on this program, we're going to revisit the Aeolian Islands, primarily Vulcano. Now, for those of you who don't know where that is, 25 kilometres north of Sicily. It's basically an archipelago of all these volcanic islands, and uh, which they number eight. Um, uh, some of them are fairly small. But most importantly, they were given um, UNESCO World Heritage status in 2000 because of the very incredible and interesting formation of these islands. And there are still some uh, uh, active uh, volcanic uh, activity on both Stromboli and Vulcano. But we are going to visit Vulcano. This is a land of uh, hot springs, mud baths and beautiful beaches, restaurants, hotels. This is the playground of the rich and famous. So let's go and have a look at this wonderful island. Ole, 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 sole di Vulcano. Isn't that an amazing island? Now this of course is an island that has inhabitants about 500 um, year round, but of course that uh, increases dramatically over the summer months. In fact, over that whole archipelago, about 200,000. So it pretty, it's a pretty amazing place. And on that note, of course, we're going to meet a wonderful friend of mine and chef. I call her chef because all home chefs to me are chefs, uh, skill in their hands, the lovely Giulia Biviano, who hails from the island of Vulcano. And she's going to share some beautiful recipes uh, that she's grown up with and probably twigged a little bit as well. Welcome, Julia. Thank you for coming back on the show. You were so popular out there with our viewers because I love your food. Grazie, Caterina. Ciao. Now, on the first recipe you're going to be doing is actually a frittella. And, of course, it's basically a broad term for a savoury or sweet fritter, correct? It is. Now, you've chosen to use what with that tonight? Tonight, I've chosen to use the um, self-raising flour, uh, eggs, um, shallots, parmigiano. Shallots, uh, parmigiano and uh, combine them all into the batter uh, and then you make uh, you get your pan with a little bit of hot oil and you just fry the fratelli and with the back of the spoon of course you just flatten them up and until... you've missed the most important ingredients which are the neonati the neonati, neonati. of course and of course uh, this is a very popular dish in southern italy where you get a lot of these beautiful um they're, they're basically the the larva very... or the baby fish of either anchovies or sardines basically yeah. and of course they do have a, a season, um, but most importantly, the smaller, the better. The smaller, they the better, They need to be very yes, fresh. Yes. They are an inexpensive item. And this, these little fritellas, you can put them in kids' sink, which is Oh, lunch. you can. The next day, they're beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, in a fresh panini or fresh roll. It's lovely. Just go, uh, beautiful. Well, let's go into your kitchen and let's weave your magic, shall we? Love to. Let's go. Now for my first course, I'm going to make white bait fritters, which in Italian we call them neonata. Uh, meaning uh, s um, small fish, meaning the name is a newborn for a small fish. Okay, so what we need first is we need to sift our flour into the bowl. Sift the flour. After sifting the flour, I add my cheese. I'd say about a quarter of a cup of grated parmesan cheese into the flour. To that, I will add freshly ground black pepper. Okay, good pinch. Nice. Some lemon pepper. And some chopped up basil. I've got my two spring onions. You can use either shallots or spring onions. Today, I'm using spring onions. Very finely like that. We shall add a little bit of salt into the mixture. Now I'll add the eggs 
and we'll mix up this mixture with the put in a little bit of water at a time and just keep stirring until you get to the consistency that we want. At this stage, we'll add in our white bait. And we need to add more water. You can use white bait as, and do as a um, uh, little fritters, seasoned flour. You just grab them, uh, season the flour with salt and pepper and um, a little bit of seasoning on it and just deep, deep heat them in hot oil. They're really nice. My mixture is now ready to be cooked. It's all be blended in well. So all, what I'm going to do now is put some oil in a hot pan over a low heat and take tablespoons, large tablespoons full of mixture, put it into there and flatten with the back of your tablespoon, flatten them. Right, my fritters are cooking beautifully in the hot oil. Now that they're brown on the one side, we turn them over the other side and cook them on the other side. Like that. And it's a lovely recipe to do on a, um, for an antipasto. If you have friends coming over or, um, you know, serve it with lemon juice or lemon wedges or aioli or even a fresh green salad, it'll be very nice. You tell you, absolutely mouth-watering and they, you can obviously change the flavouring, different, uh, different uh, herbs and different whatever, but they are amazing. I just stole a bit to put in my daughter's sandwiches. so She so loved them? She loved them. Yes, beautiful. they're beautiful. Now, of course, there is one vegetable that for me is synonymous with the Italians and that is carciofi. And I am so excited. You're going to be showing us a wonderful recipe, aren't you? Yes, carciofi ripieni oggi. And after a very short break, we're going to go back into the kitchen and the beautiful Julia is going to give us her take on these stuffed little wonders. That's right.